Hi, I'm Max Weinbach with XDA TV, and today I'm going to show you how to install the One UI Beta on the Samsung Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, and Note 9. Let's get started. As you can see here, I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Uh, this process is the same for the Note 9, the S9, and the S9 Plus, so I'm just going to show you it here, and you can do it on whatever device you, you have. I'm already running the One UI program, but there's a newer update available. So I'm just going to uh, shut off my phone to your password. Once you do this, you're going to want to hold the volume down button, Bigsby button, and power button at the same time to boot into Odin mode. This is the Samsung bootloader. You're just going to want to hit volume up to continue. Then you're going to want to plug it into your phone. Plug your phone into your computer and you're going to want to go into Samsung's Odin. I've included a download in the video, in the article tutorial. You're going to want to open Odin, hit OK. Then there's going to, you're going to see a couple slots here. For the bootloader slot, you're going to want to do it, and then go over to where you've saved the Odin files and select the bootloader version. Next, you're going to want to go AP to AP. The AP slot generally takes a bit of time as Odin will freeze, but it'll come back with the file loaded. Next, you're gonna to wanna to do CP to CP and CSC to CSC. The Snapdragon and Exynos models will have a home CSC. The Note 9 does not, uh, Snapdragon Note 9 does not. You're gonna to wanna to use the home CSC on the models that have it if you don't want your phone to be wiped. There's still a chance it could be wiped, so I would recommend doing a backup beforehand but there's a very small likelihood it would be. I'm gonna have to use CSC because there is none for the Note 9. Then you're gonna wanna hit start and let it flash to your phone. This could take a bit, so don't worry if it's gonna take a while. It sometimes takes anywhere from three to five minutes for me. Okay, Odin mode has just finished, Odin has just finished flashing the firmware to my phone. So now my phone's gonna boot into either the system or recovery depending on what you were running before. Since I was running Android Pi before, the One UI beta before, it's gonna boot me into my recovery. Now, you're gonna wanna go onto your phone, use the volume buttons to control it, and go down to apply update over ADB. If you have an SD card, you can transfer the file to your SD card before you do all this, but the ADB method is the best. You just select ADB, Put your phone down and then on your computer you're going to want to open your command prompt you need to use windows to this for this because of odin then you type in adb sideload then you drag the file that you saved the update.zip it'll always be in a .zip format over in then you just run this command it'll connect over into your phone and then transfer the update and sideload the update like this. This will take a bit of time, but once you do it, it'll, your phone will be running the latest software. If you follow those super easy instructions like I did, you should be able to install it on your Samsung Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, or Snapdragon Note 9. Right now it's only available on the Snapdragon model. The Exynos model should be getting a port from a developer very, very soon, but nothing official from Samsung the port will require TWRP. One UI is relatively new. Samsung just announced it a few weeks ago. So this beta program and the files that you'll be updating with are a little bit buggy. They're not perfect, but they shouldn't be. This is a beta. It is daily driver ready though. So you will still be able to get your calls, texts. It's not gonna crash, but there might be some battery drain and some features might not work. That's all fine. You just have to know when you're updating, it might have those issues. We've done a couple hands-on of it, so be on the lookout for some more of those. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.